Nico. <laughs> oh, you, you, you almost inhaled it. <laughs> <laughs> What's up kimchi lovers? In today's video, we're hitting a unique must-try deli in the Union Ridge neighborhood of Chicago. We were intrigued by its history, their comforting dishes, and smoked meats. Not to mention, their epic serving portions. <laughs> so today, it's slightly gray, but I'm kind of happy because we're going to Lajik Deli. I hope I pronounced that right. Maybe it's Lajik. I think I said it the same way. Anyway, we're going to Lajik Deli. They have really great Serbian food. They're specialized in sausages, so we're gonna grab a few of those and let's see what other treats they have. It's, it, it's funny because uh, Nico is just like, uh, I don't know where I am, but it smells great. But you guys keep feeding me milk. <laughs> Nico's gonna interview Alex, the owner of Lajik Deli. Really nice deli, by the way. Thank you very much. How long have you guys been in the neighborhood? So we've been here, Harzax has been here since 1955. But we bought it over in 1988. Okay. So that's where we turned into Lazic Deli and kept Harzax sausage. So it's a combination of Polish food and Serbian food. Because I'm Serbian, it's a Polish deli originally, but we're Serbian, so we integrated both together. Oh, I love so that. So we have Serbian food along with kept keeping the Polish roots and traditions. So, and we've been here since then, 1988. And so for, for a person that's never experienced serving or Polish food, what would you say like would be a good introductory food to start with? For the Polish food, I guarantee you the Polish sausage. That's number one. I mean, if, even if you're not Polish, you're gonna love the Polish sausage. So um, it's a traditional beef and smoked pork, pork. We smoke it here in house, fry it, cook it here. Our little twist to it compared to other places, uh, we don't use any fillers for any of our products. That's a big key that uh, unlike other Polish delis mm -hmm. around. We're all natural. All the meats locally sourced, the beef, the pork, and everything's made here. Serbian dish, I would definitely go with chivapi. That is like a Serbian no like, staple, right? <laughs> yes, staple. So it's like a hot dogs in America, chivapi are in Serbia. So I would definitely go with the chivapi sandwich. So now that we're in the holiday season, is there a specific food that people like to come and get to kind of like celebrate any Serbian or Polish tradition? Well, mainly it's Polish sausage and cooked sauerkraut, pierogi. Uh, you saw we sell, sell pierogi. Um, that's kind of your traditional, you know, and then you, the ham and everything else that goes with it. But the pierogi, just sauerkraut, and Polish sausage, whether fresh or smoked, are your main Polish. On Serbian, it would probably be like cabbage rolls mm. and then roasted pig and lamb. We do, do that off the spits. Oh, nice. So that's like a big, they order ahead of time and then we do the whole the animals whole and then we chop it up for them. You'll cut it up. Nice. Well, Alex, thank you very much for your time. and uh, Thank you guys for coming in today. I appreciate yeah, it. We're excited sure. to try your food. There you go. This one is the, the mixed grill. The, the mixed grill. So. That's a little bit of everything. Yeah, if you're a little curious and you want to try a little bit of everything, this is definitely the plate to go, right? Yeah. Start with <laughs> the Polish. Look at the size of this. It's, it's massive. It's, it's basically the size of Nico. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. Oh, that's really nice and juicy. All right. Cheers. Nico. <laughs> oh, you. You almost inhaled it. How <laughs> <laughs> mm. was it? It was beef and pork. Yeah, you can tell because it, it's. I like the the, um, the casing is not very hard. Oh, but sometimes it's yeah. softer. It almost feels like skin liver. Oh yeah, definitely. Like I don't know if you guys can tell like the juices. I'm gonna squeeze it a bit. Really juicy. Move on to the mixed grill. Mm -hmm. You got you get some sausage, some chirbabi, lescaviska, chicken, and some pork. And obviously you got some veggies. Mm -hmm. And you eat it with bread. And I forgot the name. La Pina. La Pina, right? <laughs> and you, you eat it with La Pina. <laughs> You can, I guess you can kind of like make a sandwich out of it, right? I think I'll just stop there because if not, it's going to be too bad. <laughs> <laughs> right? You have to make me one. Yeah. That's really soft. 
that's really soft. The bread is really soft. The only crunch I'm getting is from the onions. But that's very flavorful. Look at the juices. Look at that. That's how juicy the chibapi is. Where is that? Look at this. So Maria's a bit more of an expert. <laughs> You know what? I'll try the other one. The, All right, the peach. Which one's this one? The, the herbal. Cocta. I wonder if I said that correctly. But it has Fresh herbal one. extract, so. The peach is good. You didn't like it. Alright, so let's see. I like it. Probably. Mmm. It, it kind of. I mean, it tastes, it tastes like cola, right? But it kind of has like a hint of vanilla. Yeah, let, let me know if I'm wrong. You, you got a better sense of... Uh... Yeah. Right? Big round flat chibabi. No, it's very different. It's very distinct. It's not All right. Mm. Yeah, I like the spices. They remind me of like a Christmasy pastry. It's really good. I don't know if you can tell how flaky it is. And I'm glad that there's a lot of onions in it. <laughs> This was hands down one of the best lunches we've had in a while. And we can see why people from other states would pack a cooler of their sausage to take back home. We grabbed some chibapi ourselves and we'll need to come back for that famous pork crackling and to try some of their traditional sweets. Yeah, Maria checking out the treats. I like that they have like a little bit of things to take home to make it at home, the products. Yeah. I've always liked it when you when you come to these places and they have like those products for you to, to, to take home. Nico's like elf on a shelf. Nico on a shelf. Yeah. So you know how there's an elf on a shelf. Well, now we have Nico on a shelf. Right, Nico? <laughs> All right. I call that a successful family lunch. Yeah. Nico did not cry. Well, almost, but he did not cry. He <laughs> fell asleep. It was just such a good time, and I really want to thank Alex, Fudor, and the staff. They were they were super nice and accommodating, uh, especially with Nico. Here, they're super yeah. friendly. They're going to treat you like family, and you're going to eat good. Uh, you know, we have so many ethnicities and culture here in Chicago. Let's take advantage of it and just support local businesses, you know? Yeah. If you see a place that uh, seems interesting, just stop go. by, yeah. say hi, and uh, order something. You might be surprised, just like we were, right? So until then, we thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.